ten bad bitches in a match. Rich so many rock them diamonds on me band. When you working hard, then your money start to spend. I got model bitches wanna lick me like some can. And them drugs come in hand. Last night, savage. Swing it this way. What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Brie Monet and today's video is going to be from Love Me Hair. So they sent me their trendy layered cut glueless wig. It is a 5x5 lace closure. So they already did the plucking for you guys and also they already bleached it. Um, this is what it looks like on the back of my hand as you can see. I would want to bleach a little bit more, but the hair was moving, okay? Moving just like this bonnet. They started putting bonnets in their packaging now, y'all. I feel like they've been listening because they also have elastic band. But anyway, I know it's already pre-plucked, but y'all already know I'm going to do it anyway because I'm a gremlin. I want my hairline to look a certain way. So, um, it wasn't that much to plug. Then I'm just going to take my Nairobi mousse and place that on top of there. And we are going to smooth that on down, okay? I haven't used my Nairobi mousse in a long time, but there were some bumps and lumps in this. So, I really wanted to make sure it lays flat. Put the elastic on and then I go in with my hot comb. And y'all already know hot comb is my favorite and I mean favorite part. So this is eyeing your perm straight, which means there's gonna be more flow and it looks more elegant. Y'all, when I say this hair was silky smooth, now you can wear this glueless, but I'm going to show you guys why I'm gonna say what I'm saying. You're gonna save your time in the process, okay? Definitely. But make sure you're adding like some foundation because there is a white cast. I don't know if y'all can see that line that's over to my left side. Um, it looks okay when I put my head down, but when I tilt my head forward, it's a little cast. So just put foundation on there and let's get into review. This is what we have. Y'all look at how silky and it's super straight for one. Let's just get that out the way. Also, I've received wigs that have like that 90 trendy cut, but then I receive it and there's barely any cutting, any trimming to it. And then I had to do it myself. And again, I'm not a hairdresser. So then I really had to worry about cutting it myself. And it's just like, why would I get a wig or why would I receive a wig that says it's already cut? Like it's a trendy 90s cut. Like almost like a wolf cut as you can see. Like it frames my face and stuff and I have to do it myself. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. But this wig right here, they definitely pre-cut it. As you can see, it falls like on an angle and it frames my face perfectly. So as you can see, it goes like this. And it's also the same on the other side. It's not choppy. I did get a few like tangles a little bit but not too much and it has like this nice shine to it as well i didn't have to put any product in here even for the top part just to you know smooth out those bumps um but other than that this is literally what you will get how good it looks up close as you can see there's a shine to it cut is precise like it frames my face really really well definitely looks like what they said it will look like lace looks like up close as you can see it is glueless just you know do my little magic trick and then put it right on down i'm also going to back up and do a 360 so you guys can see what the wig looks like in the back and from all angles <laughs> Y'all see what the wig looks like. To me, it was very easy to put on, but the only problem that I had was the lace. It wasn't laying down flat for whatever reason, not sure. So I kind of had to like mold it down. So I used some water and then some edge control. And basically that's how I'm keeping it on. So this way it will still be glueless, so to speak. I don't really want to say ready to go out the box because ready to go out the box means you're cutting it and all you gotta do is just put that bad boy on. Um, so I would say you will have to take some further steps. I would bleach it a little bit more to my liking. Um, it's not bad, but for the meantime, in between time, um, I wanted to do something that was kind of easier for you guys. Sometimes there's like this cast. So if you look up, there might be like this line right here. So what you could do is actually take a foundation, place that on top, and then you should be good to go. You won't really see that cast anymore. I would say it would be ready out the box with a few steps of your own that you would need to take. And just to show you guys, this is where the closure stops. So you have enough space to do a middle part and also your side parts if you would like. So if I had to rate this from 1 to 10, I'm going to give it an 8. 
I'm recording. Like, why don't people get that? Like, that's another thing. Sometimes when these wig companies send wigs like this, they're extra thin and it's like, mm, not really feeling it. This one isn't thin. Like, it still has that density to it and I could appreciate that. Overall, I feel like this is a great wig to have. I feel like some companies really be deceiving when they say that they already cut the wig into a certain style and then they don't and then you gotta DIY it yourself. This wig, you don't have to. They already did it for you. They took care of it. So... Okay. That is all I have for you guys today. And if you're looking to purchase this wig or anything else that they may have on the website, make sure you check out the description box down below. Also, check out my Amazon storefront, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all my social medias, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!